Is it impossible for buyers to back out of a non-contingent contract without getting sued or losing the initial deposit? Non-contingent sounds great, right sellers? Not always. Buyers, you wanna win, so you go all in non-contingent and then you get cold feet, so what do you do? It's scary for the sellers who thought they had a done deal and it's scary for buyers who changed their mind. Many believe if an offer is written non-contingent, the buyer can't get out even if the buyer changes their mind. So that's false. If a seller decides to pursue the buyer's deposit, the whole matter can go through a lengthy legal process and there's no guarantees a seller will get the deposit. There are ways a buyer can get out of contract that's considered non-contingent. So for example, buyers can terminate the contract pursuant to the real estate transfer disclosure rescission rights, which means the buyer has a three-day right of rescission after each newly provided disclosure that discloses information which affects the material desirability of the property. Secondly, if the buyers find out something that should have been disclosed by the sellers, that again creates a breach. In other words, should a seller overlook or forget to disclose any of the home issues or square feet discrepancies, it could come back to bite sellers and potentially cost them the sale. So disclose all and honestly. A third way buyers can get out is if liquidated damages are signed that puts a maximum dollar amount sellers could win and the cost of pursuing may be close to that or even exceed that amount where it doesn't make sense to fight but rather to negotiate and settle, sellers will be more willing to negotiate and settle. In this superheated market where buyers are given little time to evaluate properties and end up making non-contingent offers feeling they will not get the property unless they do, we will likely see some buyers get cold feet and looking for ways to get out of contract. I'm already hearing about these kind of cases. My advice to buyers and sellers in strenuous contracts that are not making it to the close, consult a real estate attorney. If this was helpful, please follow, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.